Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys can tell, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Thirsty Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So, this is his newest palette that he just launched. Um, this is like a summer, I want to say summer-spring collection. Um, it's giving me very summery vibes. As you can see, it has like water droplets on it. Um, thirsty, everything's melting, it's hot. Um, I believe this is supposed to be like, like a popsicle, or not a popsicle. Yeah, like a popsicle, like an orange cream Julius popsicle, I think. I don't know, honestly, I'm not very sure. But, so, this is the palette right here. I will get into this in a little bit. So, he did also launch a bunch of new liquid lipsticks. Here are, let's see how many there are, six, seven, eight of them. Uh, I'm not going to do swatches. As y'all know, like I say in every video, I don't do swatches. I don't like swatches. I hate swatches, all that. I'll just go ahead and show you guys the colors and the names. Um, I will be wearing one of these, so I mean, y'all can tell by that how to perform. Um, but, I mean, we know by now Jeffree's lipsticks are consistent, so I guess you only need swatches because whatever's in the tube, I feel like, is what you get. What you see is what you get. So, let's just go through these real quick, and then there's also some lip, sc there's also some lip scrubs, and then we'll dive into the palette and do a little eye tutorial, do a lip, and call it a day or whatever. Um, all right, so the first liquid lip is called Cherry Wet. This is what it looks like. Here is the color. This is like a nice, what is this quad? This is almost like a coral. It's a little bit pinky, a little bit orange. That's really pretty. That would be really good for like summer, spring, like a neutral eye, big lash, and a nice pop of color on the lip. That'd be really pretty. Um, next one is 818. Um, I believe that's an area code. I'm not sure. I don't remember from Jeffrey's video. But also, if you want swatches, go ahead and head over to a Jeffrey's video. You will see those. This is a really, really pretty, like, nudie pink. I think that would be so gorgeous. I'm not a fan of pinks, but this one, I don't know. This one, like, speaks to me. It looks also a little bit different on camera. I'm not going to lie. Looks a little bit more pale. In person, it's a little bit more darker and saturated. Like, this one right here is yummy. This is an orange. This has like a gold shimmer in it. This one is metallic. This one also is metallic, as you can see. This is called Thirst Trap. This is like a nice bronzy one. Ooh, it's kind of like a rose gold almost. This one also is metallic. This is a bronzy, like a true bronze. I'm honestly not a fan of metallic liquid lipsticks just in general, so I don't know if I'll be using those. This one is my favorite out of the whole collection. This one is called Huntington Beach. That's a place here in LA. Um, so this one kind of reminds me of Mermaid Blood. Which Mermaid Blood's a little bit more deeper and a little bit more, I want to say, green. But this one is so gorgeous. I kind of want to use this one in the video. Let's see how my eye turns out. Um, this one is called Soft Serve. This one is like really pretty. Very pretty nude pink. Really pretty. And then this fiery orange is Quad. Coral Fixation and boom all right so there are three of the lip scrubs um i'm honestly i don't really use lip scrubs a lot if i need to exfoliate my lips i will just use a toothbrush i think it works a lot better i like it a lot better um it's less messy um but so but there are three of them the first one is orange gummy bear which i think is the best out of the three so here is what this one looks like it's orange. I tasted it. It's pretty good. Um, like I said, my favorite. Yum. Like I said, my favorite out of the three. Those are pretty good. Um, the next one is Pink Lemonade. Here is what she looks like. Almost the same color. It smells good, but I don't know that I like the taste of it. I'm not a fan of the taste of it. It's a little bit strong. I mean, honestly, you guys are not going to be eating these like I am, like I do. I literally don't use these. I just eat these because these are vegan, so you can eat them. Um, but if you're just rubbing your lips and it's like a little bit of a taste, you should be fine. But to eat them by themselves or if you are going to like eat it after like Jeffrey does, he'll like scrub it on and let's lick it off. Um, they're a little bit strong, I would say, these two. This one is Rainbow Sherbert. Not the biggest fan of this one. This almost reminds me of like a body wash, like a perfume. Don't really like the scent of it. I haven't tasted it just because I don't want to taste it really. 
Um, but like I said before, if you're just gonna use it just to scrub your lips, go for it, bro. Go for it. But yeah, so that's what he has in the collection. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the palette. I will show y'all what it looks like in three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, fuck. In three, two, one. It's not much of a reveal. I'm sure y'all have all seen this already. But anyways, here is the palette. So gorgeous. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little bit too neutral for me and to be like a summer palette. Um, there are pops of color. I believe these in the middle, these metallics are a new formula. I could be wrong, but I don't think I've seen them. Some of them have like glitter in them. I know this one does. Um, these up here are pretty neutral, but also they're also kind of colorful. Like they're very warm, very orangey, very bright, but also kind of neutral. So I guess it's not super neutral. So comparing this to Blood Sugar, the pans are the same exact size. So in this palette, there are 15 shades, neutrals, uh, metallics, pops of color. I'm not going to do swatches. If you want swatches, go ahead and check out another video. I'm sure you guys will find that on Jeffrey's. Um, and yeah, so I'm just honestly just go ahead and go to tutorial. All right, so first things first, I'm going to grab the shade Kumquat, which is right here. I'm going to pop that into the crease as a transition shade. So I do have my eyelids prepped and primed. Uh, they have concealer on them and I put powder over them so they are nice and smooth. Gonna go ahead and put that into my crease. Now we have the shade Quench and pop that also into my crease. I'm gonna put this a little bit lower than that orange. I'm gonna kind of blend the two together actually. So far these are blending out really well. As you can see, it looks so smooth. Very, very smooth, very even. All right, next, taking the shade Bitch right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop that right into the crease again. A little bit lower. Gonna really build up that crease color. By the way, these eyeshadows have almost no fallout. I'm like digging into these pans and there's no fallout actually at all or like kickback or anything. And look how pigmented that is, yas bitch. I'm gonna, that, I'm gonna take that yellow and pop it right into the inner corner, like right up here. And really saturate my eye right here with that color. I'm actually gonna mix in a little bit of this dark shade down here, Drizzle. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer a little bit on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a half, I'm gonna do a middle cut crease right here in the center. It's gonna be like a halo cut crease. So what I'm gonna do is just load my brush with concealer. And then I'm just going to go right above the fold. I'm gonna look straight forward into the mirror, go right above the fold and just place the concealer there. I'm just gonna follow that um, line that I have. That is my crease. As I get to the end, I'm gonna go ahead and fade that out. I want most of the product in the center. And then as I'm working this in, I'm gonna go around to the edges. All right, so now that I have that cut crease down, I'm gonna go ahead and take parched right here. I'm going to just set that so that it's not tacky and sticky anymore. So now I'm gonna take the shade Bitch again, and I'm going to, which is that bright pink shade, I'm gonna put that right on the outer part of the cut crease. And I'm also gonna put that on the inner corner as well. This is going to make the halo part. All right, now I'm gonna grab the yellow shade, pop that right into the center. So the yellow is not applying like I want it to. It's not the most pigmented. As you can see, I'm taking a lot. Well, I mean, I feel like if you build it up, it's fine, but you have to kind of get a lot on your brush. 
Oh wow, yeah. Using your finger use helps a lot. I usually don't use my finger with matte eyeshadows. Actually, I never do. Holy shit, that's intense. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply with my finger and then blend it out with my brush. All right, I'm gonna take that dark brown shade that I used in the crease. I'm just going to deepen up the outer corners just a little bit more. Um, there is one thing I don't like about this palette is the deepest, darkest shade. Honestly, isn't that dark. Like this one right here is the darkest. I'm really packing it on. It doesn't really add much of a punch. It doesn't add much contrast. Not as much as I would like anyways. All right, so the top lid is done. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lower lash line. So I'm gonna grab the shade Splash, which is right here. This is more of the greenish shade, more like the mint. I'm gonna run that underneath my lower lash line. All right, now I'm gonna use a flat brush. I'm just going to take Drizzle, which is that deepest shade in the palette. And I'm going to just tuck that right up against my lower lash line. All right, guys, so here's the eyeshadow. I really do love these. Um, these blended so nice, so perfectly. I'm pretty happy with this. Love this eye look. I love this eye look. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on lashes, do the other eye, and I'll come back and do the lip. All right, guys, so for the lips, I'm gonna go ahead with um, Huntington Beach, like I said I wanted to before. I think it'll really tie in with my lower lash line. I really, really love this shade. So I'm really excited to use this. So let's go ahead and pop this beach on. Oh, so pretty. My favorite color, this is probably my favorite color. I love like a teal. Ugh. All right, guys, so here is the finished look for today's video. I love this lip color. Oh my god, bitch. Oh, Something I usually don't do. I used to do this a lot, actually, on my channel when I first kind of started makeup. Um, I haven't done a lot of crazy colors lately, but here it is. Okay, so you guys, I love this collection. Um, this lipstick is super pigmented. This one is the most colorful one and probably the one that would most likely have issues with like pigmentation and coverage. But, girl, look at it. Okay. Oh, cool. All right, guys. So as you can see, as you can tell, I really enjoy this palette. Jeffree Star's palettes. His eyeshadows are always consistently good. I love his eyeshadows. I love all of his brand. I love everything, basically. Um, and yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do think this palette is worth purchasing. I do think it is pretty. I don't think the palette is anything like crazy or like, you know, show-stopping, but it's a nice palette to have. It has a lot of good essentials, good basics, a little pops of color. And yeah, so if you guys are into that, then I would totally check out this palette. I love it. Um, the blends are amazing. It's just really good. I really like this palette. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Um, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Deuces.